Okay, so here we are to talk again once about a rev not once about once again about a review of this movie. You're gonna say, why do I have all these shitty movies? <laughs> the reason being is is because it came in the Christmas pack. I wanted um Lost in Paradise and these all came along with it. And it was cheaper or just about the same price or a tiny bit more to get five movies instead of just the movie by itself. So, all right. First of all, this movie got a decent review. On IMDb, it got a 6.5 out of 10. And there was a lot of people that rated it a 10 or a 9. There were very, very few people that rated it badly. They liked the storyline because um, it was a sad story of a girl's mother that died. And now she's uh, found a reindeer in the road. The father had to stop the car. The father was a tough-ass kind of guy. Um, but... Overall, there was really nothing special about this movie. It was a B-rated type of movie. It didn't have a huge all-star cast to it. In fact, I can't remember any of these people. Um, I don't have to hold this up anymore. I don't remember any of these people in movies. The guy with the mustache, he reminds me of Tom Selleck a little, obviously, because he has a big bushy mustache like him. But that's um, obviously not him. I'm going to look up this girl. I wanna, I'm, I'm going to say that most likely she's done something since then for a filming career but sometimes people bomb they go into the b mood they do these b type movies almost and then, then they never do anything again don't i love it ah there we go so we're gonna go to imdb we're gonna um go to the cast i'm gonna say our name play the not even the first one to pop up Jessica Riggs. That was a character by Rebecca Harold Tickle. Hmm? She looks a lot different now. <laughs> well, as you gotta remember, she was a little kid in this movie. Um, hey, her popularity on IMDb is um, topped, went up 949 positions. It's in the top 5,000, according to this. Well, actually, no. See, but that's just because of some small stuff. Basically... Yeah, she's not really a big-time actor or anything. So that's what happens. You're in these kind of movies because you never get into those big ones. And you know what? I think this this girl has a lot of talent, and she could have made it if she wanted to. But then maybe there was some real reason she didn't go full-blown Hollywood. All right. Let's see. She has an upcoming one called... I want to look at this. No, that's... That's nothing. No. I just want to... Here's the credits... I don't want any of this other garbage. I just want to see with the actress previous. So she was in No. She hasn't been in anything in a while since the Enlightened one episode in 2013. Sugar Creek Saints in a Man of the Year. That's not the same Man of the Year with, um, what's it called? <laughs> um, Robin Williams. A Piece of Eden. Or maybe it was. I don't think it was. No. Prancer was her first movie, though. So, all I gotta say is I think this movie was... It's just it was a low-budget movie, and because of that, they weren't able to do much with it. They were able to tell a story, basically, from the in-house a good majority of the time, and out on locations when they were running. And you can tell things are fake. They're not set up, and they're not real. And when you watch a movie that doesn't look real, it takes away the presence. Even though, like, some of these movies we watch, like superhero movies nowadays... They may not look real completely. At least they have some elements that make it look like it could be real. There's no element of realism in anything in this movie. Now, the good thing about it is, is it worth a, a one try for a kid? Definitely. A kid would love this movie. And I'm not saying you should trash it. If you're a, a kid, you, should, you would love this movie, but not if you're an adult. All right. Well, that's it. That's the only time I'm going to watch it either. Bye-bye.